Conduit 2012 with uh, Julie Frost, uh, talking about some of the projects that you do and uh, your writing. Tell us a little about what, what you have going on or the things that you do or have done. Ah, uh, well, right now I am putting the finishing touches on a novelette that I'm going to be submitting to Writers of the Future uh, for this quarter. Um, it's about a madge who finds out that the magic that is um, that his village depends upon for their livelihood is actually fueled by actual demons sacrificing their children and no one will listen to him. Wow. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I got the idea I got the idea from a song lyric um, that goes, He won his soul and lost the war. And that's been bugging me for Years and I finally came up at World Horror Con with an actual storyline to go with that lyric. Uh -huh. And uh, so it, it's it's a world with magic. Yes. And everybody uses magic. Right. But it's fueled by. Yeah, their children babies. disappear on a regular basis and have done for generations, and so it's something they just accept. Wow. And yeah, because it's just something that happens, you know. And just, you can get used. My theory is that you can get used to anything if it goes on long enough. And so when he comes to the village elders with this, they're all yes so <laughs> because right. their entire village and the entire economy of their village depends on this magic. They become so corrupt that it's just a part yeah. of life. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's worth sacrificing their children to mm -hmm. maintain the life of everybody else. Yep. Kind of thing. Yep. Wow. And so, yeah. 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 It's uh, definitely one of my more ambitious. Projects. Is that uh, so, going to be self-published on the website? No, I'm going to send that to Writers of the Future this quarter. Oh, that's right. Okay. Is. So. Did it suffer some? You submitted something? Or, oh no, no, I've no, submitted, submitted several yeah. things to Writers right. of the Future. I've gotten like seven honorable mentions. Yeah. So, that's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Always a bridesmaid. Right. <laughs> Never. <laughs> not ever. They like my stuff, but they don't like it enough. <laughs> So is this probably the darkest book you've ever written? Or? No, no. The darkest thing I ever wrote was um, for the Terrible Toys contest at some horror magazine, wherein I call it the Helveteen Rabbit. And we all know the story of the Velveteen Rabbit, right? He wants to become real, and the love of the little boy you know, makes him become real at the end of the story. Well, this bunny rabbit wants to be real, too. And the little girl who owns him doesn't have enough love in her heart to make him become real because she hates her little brother with the fire of a thousand suns. And so he smothers her, obviously, and gets passed on <laughs> to the baby. <laughs> That's probably the darkest thing I've ever written. But, so, I mean, you've written some light stuff, too. Right? Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes. I've written a... Um, I've got a, I call it the cow and the beanstalk. Okay, we all know the story of Jack and the beanstalk, right? Guy traded him some magic beans for a cow. And everybody assumes that the guy was kind of swindling Jack because, you know, beans for a cow, and what is that? But those are actual magic beans. So what was so valuable about the cow that a guy would trade actual magic beans for a cow? And the story is why the cow is so special. <laughs> and it's a screwball, it's a screwball comedy uh, action adventure. Huh. And they end up going up the beanstalk and battling the giant and his wife and rescuing gnomes. <laughs> so how, how do you most, most of the time, how do you get your work out for people to, to read? Uh, I have stuff on my blog, which is agilebrit.livejournal.com. It comes from my favorite participatory sport, which is dog agility. And dog agility, dog agility. Okay. yes, it's like dogs running off simple horses. And my favorite dog breed, which is the Brittany. Oh, okay. So that's it's a it's a very old name. I haven't done this for like fifteen years, <laughs> but it was fun while I did it. Yeah, and just carry with you. Yeah, I just yeah. My, just, my email address is kind of like that. It doesn't really make sense anymore, but it made sense at the time. Yeah. Fifteen years ago, yeah. So I've got um, a sticky post at the top of my blog where there are links to places to read my stuff. I have, I, I do Snippet Saturday, or I try to do Snippet Saturday, 
and where I post a snippet. I have a um, DVD extra for my as yet unpublished novel, which I'm pretty proud of the DVD extra and the novel, but I need to work up a synopsis for the novel before I start sending it out again. In the past, I have done a lot of fan fiction. Um, I cut my teeth writing fan fiction. And um, it, it really taught me a lot about how to pace and how to plot. And even a little bit on character creation because I had to create villains and such like things and make their motivations actually make sense for the plot for whatever piece of fanfic I was working on at the time. And I've done Buffy, Angel, Firefly, crossovers between Firefly, Buffy, and Angel. And I've also done a couple of Iron Man and one Mentalist fanfic. These are all available on the blog still? These are all available, yeah, there's, there's a link to all that on my blog. If you go to my, there's a sidebar on the blog, and if you go to my fanfiction.net profile, there it is. So how many people do you have following your blog? Oh, a hundred or so, not many, you know. And I took a long hiatus for about 18 months where I wasn't actually doing anything in the blog. And uh, I'm back now. There's new content, so... <laughs> Well, if you're a Buffy Angel or Firefly fan, I think you'll like my stuff. Um, and, so, uh, I'm guessing you have a day job, this isn't a... I'm actually a stay-at-home mom. Okay. So, this so, is... So, yeah. Yeah. So, you actually have a day job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my husband is a pilot, so that allows oh. me to stay home. I, I definitely hope it turns into something. I, can, I feel like I'm right on the cusp of actually making it. You know, I've had... A, I've had four sales where people paid me actual cashy money. I've had one professional sale to Cosmos Magazine, which is an Australian science magazine. And, um, yeah, that That's, was... Uh, that was Cosmos, not Cosmos. Yes. So, okay. Yes. Sure yes. That. And there's a link to that on my blog as well. Okay. And that's, that's one that I actually had a lot of fun with as well. It's, uh, it's pretty dark, too, you know. But uh, it, it's, it's, it's another action adventure. I tend to write a lot of action adventure because that's, you know, it's, I wrote Buffy and Angel fanfic for ages, and that's where I learned to write. So uh, fan fiction mm -hmm. is great because you can take a, uh, read stories based off the characters that we love. Exactly. And uh, continue those stories, maybe someone from someone else's imagination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Joss said, write fanfic. You know, so I took that as a blanket permission. <laughs> Certainly. It should be. It should have more of it. So. Yeah. Anyway. Well, thank you, Julie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks.